Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Friday. We got four matchups on this college football slate today. Uh, two playoff games. Huge action today. The best playoff action on this slate. Um, so you got to go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And if you guys like betting on college football player props, especially for these bowl games, get in on the action. Sign up with Parlay Play. Get $10 just for signing up, guys. Use it on this action here. Stri simple over-unders, four-player props, very easy. So go ahead and hop in there, take advantage, get a nice cash out as we head into this weekend. And um, yeah, we'll hop into it. Four matchups, two monster matchups. Starting with Wake Forest versus Rutgers. Wake Forest opening up as 16.5 point favorites with the over-under at 62.5. The lat, these teams have played twice before Wake Forest winning both of those matchups. Um, Rutgers did cover in both of those matchups. Wake Forest had a great season, finished 10 and 3, 6 and 7 covering the spread. Rutgers, they were basically a call up. They were not supposed to be the right the original team. It was supposed to be I'm wanting to say it was supposed to be Texas A&M in this matchup. I could be wrong. But Rutgers coming in at 5 and 7 record, 6 and 6 really don't belong honestly <laughs> they just kind of said they'd play and um wake forest coming off a 45 to 21 loss against pitt rutgers coming off a 40 to 16 loss against maryland then a 28 to 0 loss against penn state um wake forest seven and one on a friday if that means anything to you guys uh rutgers just two and six covering in their last eight 16 and a half points is a lot and you know Rutgers who knows they could probably cover I would just be very scared backing them here uh the season they had I mean it was an awful season Wake Forest unbelievable season Wake Forest had here uh great quarterback I mean their offense is pretty elite taking Wake Forest minus 16 and a half let's hope they can run it up on them I just don't want to sweat out a Rutgers team Maybe they can get a backdoor cover. I don't know. But uh, I'm taking Wake Forest in this offense here against this uh, Rutgers team. Minus 16 and a half. Add them to your money line parlays. Next matchup, we have Washington State versus Central Michigan. Washington State opening up as seven point favorites with the over under at 57 and a half. Washington State finished the season seven and five, eight and four covering the spread. Central Michigan finished eight and four seven and five covering the spread um washington state uh gonna be missing their i do believe they're running back from what i'm seeing uh washington state coming off a 40 to 13 win over washington central michigan finished the season strong coming off a 31 to 10 win over eastern michigan on a four game winning streak coming into this washington state though eight and one covering in their last nine games central michigan five and one covering in their last six i mean this is like you know really the worst game on the slate hard to trust either team that's seven point favorites i think central michigan's the better team here i'm taking central michigan uh buying a buying a half a point rolling with the chippewas plus seven and a half and then you know two major matchups here the college football playoffs we have cincinnati versus bama Bama opening up as 13 and a half point favorites with the over under at 57 and a half. Cincinnati finished uh, the season 13 and 0, 8 and 5 covering the spread. Bama finished the season 12 and 1, 7 and 6 covering the spread. Um, Cincinnati coming off a 20, a 35 to 20 win over Houston. Um, Bama coming off a 41 to 24 kind of a dominating win over Georgia. I mean, that Georgia game was crazy. Cincinnati, you know, they had the perfect season. This is their real test. You know, this is kind of what they've been playing for their whole their whole season to play a team like Bama. How good are they going to be against, you know, one of the top schools in the country, one of the best defenses? How are they going to react? Bama coming into this on a 7-game win streak, 13 and 0 in December. Um, you just see this time and time again, you see these Pac-12, Big Ten, other schools, they play the SEC teams and they usually get slaughtered. 
I just don't. I would love just as a viewer to see Cincinnati make it interesting and maybe get a win. Who doesn't want to see an underdog team like that get a win? But the way Bama played against Georgia, and we all know how good Georgia is here, man, part of me just thinks that I don't think Cincinnati is going to be able be able to even like keep up i just think it's going to get out of hand i hope i'm wrong i really do i would love a good game but i'm taking bama minus 13 and a half one thing you kind of just know in life you don't bet up against bama you i've bet against bama so many years and my record's pretty pretty bad i've lost almost every time i bet up against bama especially on the big stage here yeah i'm taking Bama minus 13 and a half here. If you do take the Bearcats, get them at plus 14 and a half. I think they have a chance at covering at plus 14 and a half if you want to play that side, but I'm rolling with uh, the Crimson Tide here. Then the last matchup, we have Georgia versus Michigan. Georgia opening up as seven and a half point favorites with the over under at 45 and a half. Georgia finished the season 12 and one, eight and five covering the spread. Michigan also 12 and one finished the season 11 and two covering the spread. Um, yeah, Georgia, you know, seven and a half point favorites here and um, dealing with some injuries here. Um, well, it looks like they're getting all their guys here. They should be good to go. No major injuries for Michigan, Georgia coming off that 41 to 24 loss against Bama, Michigan, Coming off that 42 to 3 slaughter, an absolute slaughter against Iowa. And then beat Ohio State before that. Uh, Georgia, we all know how Georgia, good Georgia is. Michigan 5 0 covering the spread in their last five on a five game winning streak. This is the best. I mean, this game's going to be great. You're getting two elite defenses. Michigan has an unbelievable defense. I mean, the way they've been dominating teams. Um, a lot of. A lot of draft picks on both sides here. Um, it's going to be who can score, you know, who can um, who can make the right plays and create the less turnovers. Going to be a heck of a game. I've been back in Michigan all season long, and they've done nothing but win me a lot of money. I've watched every Michigan game this season. They're just such a balanced team offensively and defensively. I think seven and a half. I think that's the perfect spread here. I'm back in Michigan plus seven and a half. I think it's going to be a great game. We saw what Bama did to Georgia, and Michigan has a better defense than Bama. Um, I like the Wolverines here. You know, wouldn't shock, would not shock me if Georgia just comes out and just dominates. Wouldn't shock me. But I'm hoping for a really good game. I think Harbaugh is going to have a nice game plan cooked up, taking Michigan plus seven and a half. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on. Friday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one.